Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Bardot. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a ballet blonde, fabulously dressed to. and we are here at the Winter Ball, this wonderful, wonderful event tonight. It's with the Dreamland Orchestra, Michael Ornella, and I'm here with Gretchen, and she's a fabulous dancer. She's going to introduce herself to the camera. Hello, I'm Gretchen Fenston. Gretchen, tell my audience, you are a team now. You dance with your husband. How long have you been dancing? Um, I've been dancing about 12 years, not very long, but um, with my husband, probably um, eight or nine years. Professional, eight or nine years. He He's a professional dancer. <laughs> now, how did you guys get into this, this whole jazz age, Gatsby? It's you know, fabulous. It, we've both been dressing vintage since we were probably before high school, but um, it's the music that got us into it. We, this is the music that we love. It's just I love it too. Yeah, we just feel it inside, you know, it's almost like a past life thing or something. Now you tour, do you tour all over the country, all over the city? Tell um, my audience about that. Um, we go, he's gone more places than I have, but um, we do, we, we work at a lot of different events, a lot of um, all kinds of things, weddings, parties, corporate events, um, all sorts of things all so over. You really have made, so you guys have really made a living out of becoming professional ballroom dancers. Um, it's a niche, 
What do you got? What do they call your ballroom dancing? What do they call it? Um, social da jazz dance. Social jazz dance. How fabulous is that? Wow. And I'm here tonight at this beautiful, beautiful Irondale Center right here in Brooklyn, New York. And I'm talking to Gretchen. Now tell my audience, have you been, is this your first time dancing at this particular event? This particular, oh, well, the event we've danced before, I've never danced in this venue. This event we've danced, I think, for years. Yeah. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's so conducive to ballroom dancing, and it's just very, very elegant. Yes. Now, Gretchen, what is your next gig? What's after this? <laughs> when I think about it, I'm sure there's New Year's Eve. I'm sure. It's going to be New Year's Eve. I'm not, I'm not thinking that far ahead. But I love your outfit. Tell my audience what you're wearing. This is just gorgeous. All vintage. Um, it actually, in, in a manner of speaking, um, it's a, a vintage Donna Karen dress underneath. And I made this uh, gorgeous this jacket over the top. And I, I'm a milliner, and I made my headpiece. Oh, it's just beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. If we want to find out more information about you and your husband, what's your website? Is there a place where we can go to find out more about you dancing professionally? Uh, for me, it's GretchenFenston.com. And for Roddy, it's CharlestonCharlie.com. Wonderful. Spell it. C-H-A-R-L-E-S-T-O-N-C-H-A-R-L-I-E, I think. <laughs> Can we follow you guys on Facebook, too? Oh, sure. Yes. Fantastic. So it's it's Gretchen? Gretchen Fenston. F-E-N-S-T-O-N. S-T-O-N, yes. Beautiful. Thank you, Gretchen, so much for a wonderful interview. Thank you. In a moment, darlings, more interviews right here at the Dreamland Orchestra and Michael Arnella Winter Ball at the Irondale Center. Big champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Will Elaine, and we are here at the Irondale Center in Brooklyn, New York, and it's all about Michael Arnella's Dreamland Orchestra and Winter Ball. And I'm here with this other fabulous dancer. He's the second half of Gretchen, who does all those fabulous dance moves. And I feel like a jazz baby tonight. I'm here with Rodney. Introduce yourself to the camera, doll. Well, I'm, I'm Roddy Caravella. And uh, yes, you're right, Gretchen is my wife. And uh, we met dancing, actually. She was a student of mine. And we fell in love dancing. How romantic. How long ago was that? Uh, I think we met about nine years ago. We've been married. Um, it will be five years this February. So now, you are an actual, you, you instruct people how to dance. I am a professional, yes, I am a professional jazz dancer. And I have a professional been, jazz dancer. I have been for 25 years, and I teach and entertain people. Um, I teach historical social jazz dance. So that's anything from the turn of the century through the 50s. Well, how long have you been doing that? About 25 years. 25 yes. years. Now, where did this love of dance come from? Uh, for me, it's always been about the music and the jazz. Uh, I've been a jazz buff since, I guess, since my college days um, during the 1970s. And um, I've just always loved jazz. And, you know, the music and the dance go together. Without one, you don't have the other. Absolutely. And I'm sure you must have some favorite in the motion picture industry, of course, was Fred Astaire. I mean, he, was, he really wasn't a jazz dancer, though. Well, he was a little bit of both, actually. Was Fred he Astaire really? crossed over. Um, I'm a big Gene, Ke Gene Kelly guy myself. I love Gene Kelly. Gene had a different style. He was very, very athletic. Uh, used a lot of modern dance technique, which I like. Um, less of a ballroom dancer, so I would say Fred had sort of the ballroom elegance. Yes, he absolutely uh, did. But they both had incredible chops when it came to tap dancing, and they both were very agile dancers. And then later on in life, I think they did team up together. Yes, they, they definitely worked together. Um, big favorite of mine, and certainly... Um, well, 
Well, most of the Harlem jazz dancers that danced in Harlem in the 30s, um, the kings of the Savoy Ballroom, Frankie Manning, of course, uh, one of my earliest teachers, uh, Al Minns, Leon James, all the dancers who really put the Lindy Hop on the map the first time. Is there any specific movie that you loved with jazz dancing in it? I love it all. You love it all. You know what it is? Um, for me, depending on the music, I will dance differently to each piece of music. So um, if it's hot and up-tempo, it could be a Peabody, it could be a Lindy Hop. Um, if it's sultry and bluesy, it could be a, a much smoother style of swing. So the music and the era dictates the type of dance that you do. You don't just dance the same to everything. Absolutely. Do you have a favorite era out of dance? A favorite move? Era, era. Oh, era. I'm going to say that I really love what was happening in the late 20s through the mid 30s. Um, it's really an incredible time because late 20s the music was changing going into the early parts of the swing era. Yes. And the swing era really goes up until World War II, but the dancing was evolving, it was developing. The Charleston era was the 20s and the dancers were developing the Lindy Hop out of that era and it was a fabulous time of innovation and many different dancers experimenting and creating. They were borrowing from other dancers to create a new dance. Tell my audience, how did you meet Michael Arnella? Michael and I met, um, could be as long ago as 12 years ago. Um, I went to one of his events where he was playing. It was at a place called La Belle Epoque. Oh, Broadway. yes, I remember Beautiful. that place. Beautiful, Beautiful. turn of the century looking decor. I remember that place. And we became fast friends because of the music and the dance. We also share um, a great passion for antique automobiles. Okay. Yes, my husband does too, by the way. And Michael told me he owned all these vintage cars. And my husband loves vintage cars, loves them. Well, we, we travel around the country and go to a lot of events together that are car oriented, Michael and I. And uh, um, this coming summer is the 10th year for the Jazz Age Lawn Party on Governor's Island. Island, wow. And I am his dance director at that event, so. Fabulous. You guys are just too much. Terrific. Tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about you, how we can learn how to dance. Um, where can I have we a website go? And it's Charleston Charlie. Charleston Charlie. Dot com. And you can look up my website and it tells you what I'm doing and where I'm doing it. Terrific. Charleston Charlie. Yes. Thank you so much, so it's much. It's my pleasure. Yes. We'll be back in a moment. Don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment, darling. Some more interviews coming up. Keep watching. Big champagne kisses. I'm Cognac Well Elaine and I'm here with the Minsky sisters. Introduce yourselves, ladies. Hi, I'm Jin Minsky. I'm Kristen Minsky. That was some show you put on. What a spectacular show. You've done how many numbers tonight? I've done three. Two. Two, okay. How many years have you been doing this? Um, we've been performing at the Winter Ball, I think, from the very beginning. Maybe. So six years. Wow. Six years, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you love it so much? Um, you know, honestly, like, I I guess I could speak better to why I love tapping, because nobody can be sad while watching it. So I kind of feel the same way with, with a lot of the jazz music that we're listening to tonight. It's kind of, it's very uplifting, and it's bright, and it's it's positive, it's happy. I love doing it in front of uh, the stage door. It's so retro, <laughs> this wonderful interview. Have a special routine that you like to do the most? Um, I think our most requested routine is our fan dance, our tapping fan oh, dance. Oh yes, I w as a matter of fact, I was watching White Christmas last night. After I got home from doing an event, it was on all night, <laughs> and I love sisters, Absolutely. sisters. You girls should do that number. Yeah, we've thought about we've it. Thought about do it. you sing? I do not, but she sings very well. <laughs> 
favorite movie of all time. Is it really? It really is, actually. Mine, so I love the ending of it, because that's the whole movie. Anyway, guys, tell my audience where we can go to find out more information about the Minsky Sisters. You can find us at MinskySisters.com, and you can also find us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Minsky Sisters. Terrific. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up. Pink champagne kisses. been a crybaby productions darlings